welcome to this lecture today we are going to find out the factors for six right okay what do we mean by factor here is a number n n's factor is the number that can divide n without remainder so what do we mean by the factors of six the numbers that can divide 6 without remainder are called 6 factors. Look at here. Notice that the factors of a number always include 1 and itself. So, the factors of 6 will be 1 and 6, that is itself, right? A simple way is to find what pairs of numbers multiply to get 6. So, if I multiply 1 times 6, then I will get 6. So, 1 and 6 are the factors of 6. I will write here the, I will write here the lowest factor and I will write here the highest factor. Now, I will find out the other factor of 6. So, after 1, I will take here 2. So, what number will come here? To find the number, we have to check whether 6 is completely divisible by 2 or not. So, if you, <coughs> if you divide 6 by 2, then what you will get? You will get 3. This quotient 3 will come here. Right? So, 2 and 3 are the factors of 6. So let me write here 2 and then 3. Now we'll try to find another factor of 6. So I'll take here 3. Look at here. Already I have taken here 3. Three, right? Already I have taken here 3. But if I take here 3, then we are getting repetition. Repetition indicates that we should stop. That is, we have completed our factorization of 6. So, the factor of 6 is you have to write this 1, 2, then this. 3, 6. Factor of 6 is 1, 2, 3, 6. These are the positive factor and negative factor is like this. Right? Just you have to put negative sign before every positive factor. So you know that 6 is a uh, integer and integer must have a must include positive factors and negative factors. I have a blog post in the description box of this video. If you read that blog post you will get more ideas. So thank you for viewing this video. Be well.